Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some Tactics Ogre Reborn and we are currently taking the uh, Castle of Karitani. So Balbatos might actually be here. We might get to fight him here. So we're going to find out, but we are currently winning. Okay, we can bring in two more units. We'll bring in Lobane. And sure, Cressida. You know, no. Let's bring in uh, Yuria for this one. And she'll help out all of these mages. Okay. A craft deployed denim of Goliath. Balbatos isn't here. But this keep still stands. And by the might of Galgastan, she will not fall. I want so badly to be able to nuke those guys with a bunch of magic right now. that poison on. So good. Yes, keep bunching up, you fools. Keep bunching up, you fools. One of them has to crit, right? Oh my god, I think 
that was what four four different crits oh my god i love it <laughs> good effort idea what they were getting into. Okay, 166, and with Ruination, we get the kill. Oh my god, she is about to hurt them some more. And oh boy, do I love it. Oh my god. It's so satisfying. It's so satisfying. Managing to get most of the people that matter. That's good. You wish your measly hills mattered, dude. You wish. Those wallets to black gods. Daisy, how many seasons have passed since we last met? If you are here, then Brigantis has fallen, and the traitors to the Hierophant conspire with the Wallister. True enough, though I mislike your choice of words. We are not criminals, but brothers in arms, seeking not more conflict, but peace. Okay, so strength card there. Intelligence there. Oh, you've got one too. That'll have to do. That's huge. Okay. And with Frighten, that gets the kill. A 
What's your move? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, buddy, but you're dead. Do not know the past of this man you called your ally, Denim of Goliath. What'd he do? His sword is wet with the blood of innocence, and his boots dark with the ashes of their village. It is true. I have no desire to deny what I have done. In this route, we have no room to judge anybody, considering we took part in Belmamusa. Nor do I deny that it was a terrible mistake, a weighty sin upon my soul. All those who lent aid to Balbatos' blood war were ogres. Ogres in men's flesh. You blame his eminence? It was you upon the field of battle. You who mistook friend for foe. You speak as though your own hands were not stained dark with the blood of innocence. Innocence? Do not brand me with your iron traitor. I fought only the enemies of this kingdom, gnawing vermin like you, who place the blame for their own sins upon our lord. So it sounds like he accidentally killed some of his own men. A bit of friendly fire going on in the midst of battle. I mean, can you finish it with the dagger? No, you cannot. True. Killing the Hierophant now would do little to absolve my guilt. I was a man changed then. Those villagers, something dark inside me moved my hand to cut short their cries for mercy. I believed in my black heart that I did my duty for Galgastan, that I served my people even as I slew them. But what did I serve other than death? Okay, maybe I misunderstood. So it sounds like... Um, he did kill some innocent people. Um, 
that were quote unquote his enemies, so probably Wallister. And then later on, he may have decided that that was the wrong thing to do and turned on his own men at some point. I watched as the light faded from the eyes of our people and fear grew in their hearts. I watched as the beauty that was Galgastan perished. Foolishness! You would have us return to the years of Dorgalawa's rule. Is that it? When the Bakram and Wallister dined at the king's table. While the Galgastani were left to forage for scraps, you would throw away all we built this kingdom for. Where is the beauty in that, I ask you? You decry the injustices of Dorgalawa while you wish them upon the Wallister? You would strip them, and your own clansmen, of their freedom. The Hierophant's justice has failed, and his people abandon him. Surely you see it, Daisy. You cannot build a castle upon shifting sands. As you wish. We will let the battle decide who has the right of it. Girl, I don't know if you've looked around. Oh, and he's gonna be the one to end it? That hurts. It feels like they know each other pretty intimately. All right. Like he was using a shorthand nickname for her. Like they were close at one point. Glory uh, to Galkistan. Uh. Kind of sad. forces have taken the keep. It is over. No closer, Wallister. I'll never kneel to the likes of you. You have no choice. Foulest of days. We won, Insonji. We won! I said stay back, insolent cretins! Is he gonna take his own life? Your keep is taken and your men are slain, Balbatos. Yield! You were wrong, Wallister. Damn. <gasps> Dude's crazy. I do have a choice. A man of some twisted convictions. He's dead. I wonder how Vice has fared. Where is Den? Speak! How should... I know. Run off somewhere. I'd wager. You expect me to believe the hero of the Wallace turned tail and fled? Tell me what your scheme is, or I'll quiet you for good. Is Vice actually being a bro right now? So weird. I don't know how Sir, to take it. <laughs> Wallace They've taken Karitanai. What? How is that possible? A force crossed the Brigania Flats and assaulted the keep from her flank. Madness! What of the Hierophant? Surely he's not... Slain, sir. The dogs showed no mercy. The Hierophant? Slain? <laughs> he did it! He really did it! <laughs> Glad to see he's still a little crazy. <laughs> Vile, scheming creature. <sighs> How stand our ranks? Sir, we have uh, roughly four companies remain, sir. Godspeed. We've lost more than I thought. San Brutakos and Mansa to Corinna. We will march on Almoreca. At once, sir. A demon of Gordon. We'll pay for this. Okay. All right. So at this point, I think we're supposed to go back to the Bahana Highlands for part of our recruitment quest. Um, let's also go ahead and make sure that we read the Warren report, see if there's anything new there. 
So Karitnai Keep has been captured. The Galgastani Sea to power Karitnai Keep has fallen. It seems resistant soldiers battling the Galgastani at the Sanji Wild were merely decoys, as another force led by the hero of Goya, Denim Pavel, assailed the undermanned keep. Galgastani leader Hierophon Belbatos was killed in the fighting. Galgastani joined the resistance. Many Galgastani soldiers surrendered to the Wallister resistance following the death of Hierophon Belbatos. The resistance took control of major cities such as Port Ashton and the mining town of Balmamusa. As the Galgastani forces sent to the Sh uh, Sanji Wield remain at large, surrendering soldiers are held as prisoners of war to prevent them joining the fray again. Zabos captures Almorica. Oh, okay, so that's where Zabos went. He wants a little revenge. The resistance stronghold Almorica Castle has fallen to Galgastani stragglers. The assault was led by High Commander Zabos, a close aide of the late Hierophon Balbatos. He played a key role in the Blood War and is wanted for crimes committed against the peoples of Valeria. He has also taken resistance officer Vice Bozek as prisoner. Alright, looks like we need to uh, save Vice, who's actually kind of being a bro. Okay. He eventually reconciled with the resistance when Denim took up its leadership. His might and arms serves the Order of Vernacular as well as they strive to put an end to the war. Okay, the Worm Knight Yunin. A Galgastani from Rhyme who once led the Worm Knights of the Kingdom of Galgastan as Hierophant Balbatos' right hand. He was a principal agent in carrying out the Blood War. He later joined those opposing the Hierophant, troubled by the acts he had been made to commit. There it is. After meeting Denim at Briganta's castle, he saw in him a kindred spirit. Since then, he has fought for the Resistance. Yeah, his story is not all that different than Denim's when it comes down to it. Is he... Yeah, he basically is Denim. But on the Galgastani side, uh, we we followed the Duke, and we took part in his little blood war on Valmamusa. We felt bad about it. We eventually turned on him. Yunin did the exact same thing. So, interesting. Interesting little parallel there. Okay, Briam the Elder. Uh, Briam Dadaro, a Galgastani who formerly headed the Dadaro family, House Dadaro's lineage traces back to Kritinai, Kritinai, noble Count Orlando. And they also share a bloodline with the Lord of Kritinai. Briam was pained by what his homeland had become under Hierophon Balbatos. Hearing that the Wallister resistance was on the march, he freed the enemies of Balbatos in prison in, in Briganta's castle. Remaining loyal to the crown to the end, he took his own life for failing to prevent the fall of Brigantis. Okay. Orgo the Mercenary. A mercenary who served the Galgastani forces in battle, born beyond Valerius shores, Orgau caught wind of the civil war that erupted in the wake of King Dragalua's death and crossed the sea to find work as a sellsword, for it is only in battle that he can make his existence felt, only in battle that he feels truly alive. The winged suffer from low status on Valeria, and it was some time before he found a contract worth serving. He succeeded by building a reputation for himself as a mercenary in small conflicts across the island. The terms of his contracts improved to the point that, within the Galgastani forces, his employment soon afforded him pay and treatment on a level with that of an officer. He held Karitani keep while the battle with the Wallister resistance raged at Sanji. Yet even as his forces celebrated their victory there against the Wallister, he was taken by surprise when the resistance attacked from the rear and fell to Denim. And then Quartermaster Roberval, a Galgastani who served his clan in battle, hails from a family of farmers in a small village in the Kritnai region where he lived together with his parents, grandparents, and six sisters. As a Galgastani, he revered Hierophon Belbatos and was eager to join the army. His parents were staunchly opposed, for he was their only male child. Still, on the day he left, his mother presented him with a fine jacket of tawny brown that his father had brought, uh, bought for him, so he might not be ashamed of his low station. Aw, oh, it's kind of sad. Many were the youths, like Camlot, who joined the Galgastani host out of an abundance of patriotism, a clearer sign than any of the Hierophant's influence. While delivering supplies to Brigantis Castle, he encountered the resistance on the Bahana Highlands and died in battle, having never learned of Brigantis Castle's fall to Sir Hector and his father's stratagem. Commander Apollinaire a Galgastani who served her clan in battle, House Apollinaire is a noble family related to former Lord of Caritani, Count Orlando. For generations, they have held seats in the House of Nobles, wielding great power throughout the region. Daisy Apollinaire, youngest daughter of the current family head, 
favored warfare over politics, eventually attaining the rank of commander. Sorry, almost choked on my own spit there. <laughs> Galgastani commanders are charged with leading several legions of men and are second in rank only to high commanders. Daisy, who was well suited to the role, demonstrating decisive leadership and superlative combat skills. She died attempting to fend off Denim's assault on Kurit and Aikip. Okay. There we have it. Okay, so Sanji wield. Lake Bordeaux. And we want to go back to the highlands. Okay. Fine on blessing stones. Oh, wasn't there a helm that we needed to do for? Yeah, for Yunin. You sure? Fair. Okay, great. Is. All right, so on this map, we're going to want to uh, protect Ravnus. Yeah, I still want to keep bringing you in to level up and get your weapon mastery up. Because you are my new Dragoon. You go on ahead. Who's she with? Who's helping I her? I owe you an apology, Ravnus. Partisan warrior. I thought you could not be trusted. Forgive me. You are one of us. You're kind, but there's naught to forgive. Now go. See to our young lord of Karitani. Who is the young Lord you of Karitna? Away, did you? Warriors of Galgastan, Karitani has fallen. Balbatos is slain by his own hand. Surrender and save yourselves. I did not think Karitani would fall so swift. Wallister lies. Shut your ears to their slander. Seize the woman. Slay the rest. Dame Ravnus, rally to us. Huge. 
gives us a good start. A really good start. engulf you do oh you've got that seraph ability too we need to switch that out for something else it's probably been on for a while to lose anyway. came to us. Good. Sorry, Yunin. You can take it. Okay, 270, 285, 385. Ooh, so close. All right, we might need Papillon though. Yep, okay. How do you pronounce it? Is that is it is that pronounced Papillon? It might be. I'm too dumb to know. Bye. 
So close. Okay, dex card. Sure, you can take that. Already you lead the armies of Almorica. Sir Leonard gave his life to make it so. Almamusa, Sir Leonard, how many more must I send to their death? A brave man, Sir Leonard. I knew him well. He would bear any dishonor for his country. He would bear any dishonor for his country. Yeah, I guess there's truth to that, huh? Dude was wild. It's an absurd level of nationalism in my opinion, but... Glad they're not going after her. Pretty good damage. So this is Dame Ravnus. She's no enemy of ours. Easy, Denim. Sir Briam told me all. A Wallister knight who toils for Galgastan is a rare creature indeed. What do you mean? She's well regarded among those who oppose Balbatos. Balbatos's men think of her less as a Wallister knight than a rogue within their own camp. Dame Ravnus? A Galgastani rebel? I'd sooner have the tale from her, but she'll not talk if she's dead. Okay, fair enough, bro. I don't plan on letting her die. Phalanx sucks. One of our slowest at the moment. well all things considered i see you've not changed canopus not as you have there's a rose in your cheeks it suits you you had a grim look when we first met in almorica i was confused about a great many things but no longer i do the right. business at hand then so many foes in need of mortality And he has passed to you. But who am I to fault him for that? You're too hard on yourself. Am I? Alma Musa was a foul business. It was unfair of us to ask one so young to bear so much. We trusted to your strength when we ought have heeded our own wisdom. All 
right, so you're defensed up right now. Leave Yuriel alone. That's so rude. It's really hard. tile away from hitting her. Damn. I might have chosen another path at Balmamusa. I might have died in Selena's place. But there is no undoing what is done. You press on because you must. Bearing your shame upon your shield. Bit of a waste of MP considering he's, um, defensed up, but we're fine. Not bad. Damn, girl. I mean, she can hurt when she really wants to, can't she? Ravnus, are you all right? Thank you, yes. I live to fight another day. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. the Golgastani who pursued you, and a Golgastani whom you helped escape. I admit I'm rather confused. The knight you saw opposes the Hierophant. It was Balbatos' loyals who gave chase. To what end? The Lord of Caritani is the rightful ruler of Golgastan. Hierophant Balbatos is merely his steward. As the young lord was not yet of age, Balbatos was free to reshape Galgastan as he saw fit. We've never seen this young lord or whatever, right? The poor child was a piece in a game he scarce knew existed. We had hoped to reach him before your assault on Caritani. Where is he now? Balbatos' enemies shelter him. With Caritani sacked and hmm. Balbatos dead, I should think they'll take him to Brigantis. A great many of their number hold the castle. Good people. 
And true. That's right. You've met them, haven't you? It is they who reached out to me to aid in the Reformation. Of Galgastan, you mean? Of course. Not everyone in Galgastan wanted war with the Wallister. And surely the same is true of the Wallister. It is war we hate, not each other. What better way to bring peace to both people than to change Galgastan from within? Peace without bloodshed. With my mixed blood, I thought myself a fitting standard bearer for the cause. <sighs> I had but to open my eyes and see, and when I did, a new truth emerged. A way for Wallister and Gulgastani both to emerge victorious. A worthy goal. One I share. Join us, Ravnus. Fight at our side. Our paths parted at Balmamusa, but we seek the same thing. Look past what is done and lend me your steel. You've grown much since Balmamusa. My sword is yours. And there we are. We have now recruited Ravnus. Brilliant. I love it. Okay. Dame Ravnus. Let's read hers. A Wallister who once served with the Knights of Almorica. She is of mixed blood, the child of a Wallister father, and a Galgastani mother. She was next in command to Sir Leonar, and was a close supporter of Duke Ronway. Though known for her calm demeanor, she stubbornly opposes the use of underhanded tactics. She turned her back on the resistance after opposing the massacre of civilians at Belmamusa, as you should. Uh, she actually has a mortal high ground over us because of that. She then fled to Galgastan to be with her mother. There, she worked with the enemies of the Hierophant to incite revolution in Galgastan. Denim helped her repel Gagastani forces that pursued her after she freed the Lord of Kritani. Seeing the true nature of the war, she returned to the Resistance to help Denim put an end to it. Yeah, she's the hero here. <laughs> we made mistakes. She made all the right choices. Okay. So, party. Let's go ahead and move her up because she's gonna we're probably gonna try and make her part of the main party because she freaking rocks okay let's get her some levels Call that good. Okay, she's also a spear user. We have lots of spear users right now. Since she's a Valkyrie, the Balder stuff might actually be the better option, since it helps with magic a little bit. Once we plus one that, I think it'll be better. Good 
って。Just give the word. Just give the word. What do you say? I had a trident plus one. My bad. Okay, so Spirit Surge three would be good. Still light is good. Rune swiftness is good. Maybe we'll take dispel on you. So we just need to buy a spirit surge three. Wouldn't be able to use judgment. have to work up her uh, skills on spear. So it's hard to really compare stats simply because they're not at the same level, but your attack is at 674 Ravnus, while Seria's is at 801. Maybe once we get into a fight we can compare them directly, uh, because then they'll be level scaled, right? So uh, maybe once we get into a fight we should look at the comparison between the two and see what they look like. Alright. Finally made it happen. We have Ravnus in the party. So we're going to start using her. Um, we've got some new party members that I actually want to use, so that's kind of exciting. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode, where I guess we're going to make our way towards our old castle of Almorica so that we can take it back from Zabos. Bye, everybody. 
I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Bracken, Quinless, Chris Smith, Vlado101, Andy Ford, The Blue Electric Cat, and Kyle Schluter. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.